sexuality and human sexuality is a vital part of life. It's a vital part of human well-being. Everyone has sexual needs that need to be met in order to relieve their physical ailments, to relieve their psychic traumas. Because all trauma, as Wilhelm Reich points out in his sciences, all trauma roots and stems from sexual repression, repression of the sexual energy. And through circulating, healthily circulating sexual energy is what promotes well-being and health and vital life force, vitality. Having good sex often has so many health benefits that it's staggering, but it's no surprise. The most important often missing component is the intimacy, or the spiritual recognition or recognition of your deepest aspect inside another. Oxytocin is the social bonding hormone produced in the hypothalamus but released by the pituitary gland during physical intimacy such as hugging, kissing, and cuddling. And the longer the duration of the cuddling or the kissing or the con physical contact, the higher amount of the um, intimacy, the higher amount of oxytocin is released into the body and therefore the greater social bonding. The crucial effect of, of regular sex is hormone production, releasing a sleuth of chemical compounds such as endorphins, the compound word of endo and orphan, which means literally means endogenous morphine. In other words, morphine generated endogenously, which means within the body, generated from within. And, and endorphins are named after the Greek god Morpheus, who is the deity, the god of dreams which is why sex also improves sleep and circadian rhythms. And these hormone productions improve circadian rhythms. It strengthens libido, it reduces cortisol, or the stress hormones. It calms the nervous system, lowers systolic blood pressure, cuts the risk of heart attacks, improves cardiovascular circulation, lubrication, elasticity of the tissues of the vagina, and strengthens the muscles. However, there's also the likely case that male DNA from past sexual partners has been found in the female brain, which stays there throughout their entire lifespan. This is known as microchimerism. So ponder that for a minute. But you also have to realize, as most people won't tell you, that it likely only happens with internal fluid transfer. And they also won't tell you that still so much research needs to be done to confirm this. But it could mean that you literally carry a piece of your sexual partners in your brain for your entire life, if you're a female, literally leaving an imprint on them. But the thing is that DNA is both a receiver and a transmitter of patterns, and demonstrably communicates non-locally via longitudinal waves. So in other words, which most people will mistakenly and fallaciously call quantum entanglement. But this is actually an electrical effect which is faster than the speed of light. It happens instantly, and this has been proven in multiple experiments, and DNA ac across the country will actually respond simultaneously to stimuli. DNA from the same samples, and this happens longitudinally through what would be called longitudinal waves or sometimes also scalar waves. This means you could either imprint onto the characteristic expression of your past partners as well as vice versa. They can imprint onto your characteristic expression. So basically the lesson here is know thyself and heal your personal karma and therefore you imprint that characteristic onto the expression of all of your past partners and rather them having 
their expression imprinted upon your behaviors, your thoughts, and your actions. So this is why self-work is the most crucial aspect of an individual. 